helping things grow takes a lot of determination. You really have to stick with it. So I'm gonna show you some of the projects that I have around my house right now, getting ready for spring. Project one, growing beans from seeds. Super excited to wait and to open up some seeds that I planted. So these are actually some bean seeds. What I did is I wrapped them in paper towel um, dip them in water and then I stuck them in a baggie and put them uh, by the window. So I want to show you. See if you could see them right there. So these have been growing. Whoa! Look at those! These have been growing now for, let me see, I probably planted them a week ago Sunday. So probably just about a week and a half. And look at, so there's a close-up of the beans and the roots that are growing on them. I looked at them just a couple days ago to see how they were coming along, um, but I was pretty surprised to see how much they'd grown in the week. Absolutely amazing. So now I'm going to plant them in the ground and hopefully we'll have some beans this summer. <laughs> Project two, trying to sprout a potato. Something that you can do at home, I'm trying to see if this potato, I researched it and it actually should work. So you're supposed to put toothpicks and I didn't have any, so I had a barbecue little skewer. Um, so I poked it through the potato. You can also try this with a carrot. Um, put the potato in the water and then if you put it in the sun, it's supposed to sprout. But this has been over a week and all I have so far is a wet potato. So I'm gonna put it back in and we'll see what happens. Project three, growing dill from seed. So these are some dill. And I wanted to show you that's how tiny the seeds were when they were planted. But these have been growing for probably a, just over a week. Um, they're a little kind of scraggly, but we'll see. Project four, trying to get a lot of baby plants out of one plant. So what I did is I pulled off some of the leaves and these are totally different looking leaves from what you're accustomed to. They're round and they're kind of squishy. And what you have to do is you have to let them dry. Once they're dry, then you plant them in the earth and they're supposed to root. So let me hold it up so you can see it. Whoop, can you see it there? There we go. Whoa, look at that. There's a whole lot of roots on that bottom of that little leaf. So what I'm gonna do is put that back in the ground. I probably have about another 15 of these I'm gonna plant. So I'll get 15 baby plants. Isaiah 55 verses 10 and 11 talk about the fact that the snow and the rain do exactly what God wants them to do. They cause the earth to grow. Have you noticed the bushes that have started to flower? Or the trees that are coming out in their leaves? Sometimes we can't even see the plants growing. Sometimes it looks like nothing's happening or that things aren't turning out so well. We can know that God is always doing something and that no matter how things seem, when the rain and the snow come down from heaven, they always make the earth grow. Just like the rain and the snow always guarantee that God's earth is gonna grow. In the same way, every single promise that God's, God it makes is guaranteed to happen. When he promises that he will love us, he'll be with us, he'll take care of us, he'll forgive us, he'll never leave us, he'll always be there with us. We can know that every single promise that God's made in the Bible is going to happen and it's absolutely true. And because of that, we know that we can always, always trust God.